Okay, here we are. It's gonna be the the comparison adventure video with the Honda Africa Twin and the new KTM 790 rally version brought to you by Fire Freddy here. Brought to you by Visa. And it's 100 degrees out here in Mariposa. Copa. Maricopa, sorry. <laughs> Say? Then why don't you talk about my bike? Um, it's kind of clapped out. It's not the part of the click. How fast is it? Can it keep up with us? Yeah, are you gonna need a... I brought a tow rope just in case. <laughs> with all our recent trips being canceled because of COVID, Fire Freddy had an idea of staying out of the hot heat in the desert and starting in Maricopa, California and traveling to the coast over into San Luis Obispo. This is something Hacienda Gabe and I have been wanting to do for a long time, just didn't have really a guide and didn't want to sit down and figure it all out. So we met in Maricopa and followed Fire Freddy to who knows what we were gonna see. And for the most part, and like my other High Sierra Diary videos, you know, California tends to get to a point where it starts to dry out. And as you can see, a lot of the green is disappearing and turning to a crisp because of the summer heat. Why didn't somebody tell me that you should wear lighter colors on 9500 degree days? Well, remember uh, Federale Freddy? Yeah, there's a reason why it wears this kind of stuff, man. How are the hand, the grip warmers doing? <laughs> well, I figure a black Africa twin, black boots, black everything. Because it's a new, it's a new thing, you know? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's Where a new thing. <laughs> so is green actually uh, cooler? Yeah. Really? Yeah, well this whole material is cooler to begin with, but this, it's fine. It's not black, that's for sure. Yeah. I to I've told Gabe this, but ever since we I had heat stroke in Baja, the heat gets to me really quick. And I start getting like anxiety. You know? Makes sense. I mean, you almost died. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, so. <laughs> now I figure cross it, as soon as I cross the creek, I slow down, I'm like, all right, tree, like, this is these first decent sized tree I've seen so far, so. <laughs> all right. It, uh, it's just triggering that, that, that time. So it's like, I'm trying to like fight through it and just like, no, it's good. And then I get a cool, uh, a breeze of cool air. I'm all, ah, that feels good. <laughs> so I uh, hope, wonder if this uh, reminds you of Baja where we absolutely yeah this is awesome so most of um up to where he got to that house I hadn't been I beast I hunt on that front side to go quill hunt but I knew this goes back and I looked around was it last night night before and found four service roads that should connect the dots to get us over to Santa Maria so it should all be this two track through the back country Barbara. Yeah. Gabe, would you turn already? There's people behind you waiting for you to turn. Oh, your signal's on me. Oh. It's gotta be it. For the most part, within an hour, we lost all cell reception. But then, funny, I got it back up on the ridge. And depending on what kind of software you have, I mean, it's 
totally needed that every, at least one person should have GPS in your group at all times. And I'll be very truthful. Yeah, the so older cool. me and Hacienda Gabe get, we're getting a little bit smarter about being more prepared for the unknown. When we were younger, we wouldn't take anything and just go it and just try to like discover and take no precautions on maybe the dangers that lie ahead. But we're getting smarter. Once at the top of the Sierra Madres, it is no joke. You are really in the middle of nowhere with help hours away. And the terrain is kind of technical as well, besides the fire roads that connect yourself to the cities. And I just forgot on how much of California is still undeveloped. Uh, the coolest house in the Got a little multi-tool. Multi is that Harbor Freight special? I don't know, made in China. Okay, look, that's the KTM one, right? That costs yes. eighty-five dollars. Yes, it goes with the bike. Oh, okay. And with this orange zip ties. Okay, just check it. Like I've mentioned in the past, when it's windy on these trips, it pretty much ruins every aspect of shooting a video and trying to tell a story. Here I have some treats that have been in my pants from the last trip and um, you know I'm explaining on how tasty they are after a couple months. And uh, you know wind ruins other things like the drone footage and other things but I just thought this was funny on how I found a little treat from my last trip and um, let me know in the comments below if you guys forget about snacks and food in your pockets of your gear. Oh, right bar. next to the tip where you wear all black in California summer. Okay? Look at that. I see that. That's Hey, and let's be honest too, we're not real adventure riders. You know, we got to an oak tree close to Santa Maria and it just made sense to maybe make reservations at the local pizzeria. Freddie just knew just the place. Make sure you guys are open today for dining. Bring a mask. Yep. Then there's that reality where you're back into the city 
and things are back to how they used to be when you left. Don't go anywhere because there are cinnamon rolls to eat on the city streets and we go from San Luis Obispo back over to the Taft area. You don't want to miss it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hey, hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss the next video. Also, check out the description box below. I got a lot of things in there, a lot of resources you guys can check out. And that's it. We'll see you on the next video. See ya.